Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to add timeline control to custom entity form in Power Apps and Dynamic 365C. Now, scroll down. So, I have already created a custom entity that is testing tables. So, click on that. Now, click on this record. So, I am adding timeline control in the testing table entity. So, go to the Make.Power Apps. Now, in the left hand navigation pane, click on Solutions. Then select the solution in which you are working on. Now scroll down. So click on testing table three dots and go to the properties from here and check enable attachment including notes and file. And now click on advanced option from here. Scroll down and check creating a new activity from the make this table an option van. And then click on save button. Now scroll down and again click on testing table. So under the data experience click on forms and then click on main form. On the left hand side click on component. So in under the popular as you can see timeline is here. Now easily drag and drop in the main form. So here your timeline is visible. Now take a look at some of the item you can configure on the timeline itself. So panel open on the right hand side and firstly you can do select the record type would you like to show by default. So you will get activities and notes if they are enabled for the table and if you don't want to show a note in a timeline so you can uncheck from here. Now scroll down so activities turned on where you can configure and which activity type are going to display for your user in the timeline. So if I click on a task so you can uncheck these if you don't want. To see your timeline. So uncheck the enable box of the task type will now be show in the timeline. Now click on save button. So additionally which activity do you want to be included on the timeline for this particular table. Now click on advance from here. So as you can see by default record shown on page is 10 and you can change it to any number up to 50. Now click on save and publish button. So go back to the sales app application and firstly refresh it so as you can see timeline is visible in the testing table main form click on a plus from here and if you notice the task activity is not visible here so in this video we covered how to add timeline control and also did few configuration items so you can set on the timeline thanks for watching